Let's get into this drag. Let's get into this drag, girl. <laughs> Cheers. We're drinking the same thing. We are drinking a, not an ad, okay. We're drinking a low-carb hard cider called, like, Clear, clear deci- Decisions or something like that. Let's try it. What does that mean, low-carb, though? I have though? no clue. Because, like... Is the carbs the sweetness? Yeah, because so it's, it's got sugar. a little sweetness to it. Just say it's like a crushable light but this cider. Is like, the reason I did, in case you're curious, the reason I did it in a wine glass is because it it's in a wine bottle. Yeah, yeah. And also, it's like an elevated cider. Yes, it's more like a European hard cider. You know what I mean? Right, like when we went to Normandy. Like when we went to Normandy. Mon Saint Michel. Uh, bonjour. Uh, uh, be, be, uh, bonjour. RJ, feel free to digress today. Because that was the. Because what's the point? What well, that was the motif of the episode. We could give you an episode right now, five minutes. We just announced the results and how we feel. Oh. But that's not what happened in this episode. So why would we? Why would we? Why would we? Why would we? <laughs> Fast forward through some parts of this episode. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be honest. I'll say it right here. I'll say it right now. We got tired of the letter writing section. <laughs> because it went on because, for 15 minutes. Because they did a package before to show that they got fan letters. Those were cute. And then Loved they sang that. the song. Great. And then you saw confetti and they were like handwritten notes. You also saw on the screen the lyrics and their handwriting. So we're like, mm-hmm. okay, so they wrote these. And then they did another package to show them writing all of those. And I was like, I... <laughs> but you already I, showed sweet. what it is. It it's just was very sweet. And it was like, the idea was great. Yeah. And I liked that they showed it. And then it was like, and it's still going on. Yeah. It was just a very long segment. It just, it lasted a little too long. And also like, where's the variety? Y'all didn't make us laugh. I'm just saying, this yeah. is what we ask for. It's what we want. Yeah, you know what it would have been fun? If they made them do game day, sports day. Yeah, stupid. It would have been wild. <laughs> Make them play, like, the chicken game and Make try to push people out. Make them hold up each of- other on their, like, knees or whatever. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Our winner from last week went home. <gasps> Our sapphic winner. Our sapphic winner went home. <laughs> we'll okay. get to it. Let's get into this drag, girl. And by get into this drag, I mean, let's get into this gown that Taeyeon has on. Okay. This bridal gown. Th- this, if I'm, the next two episodes, the Seven Fellows of the Finals, I better get gowns every single week. Okay, gowns, these gowns. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. Gowns, beautiful gowns. Give me your top three gowns. And by gowns, I am just saying all the looks. It doesn't have to be a specific gown. I, you said Ellie's dress was a little too short. I actually liked Ellie's dress. I liked the design of it. I just felt like the hemline needed to be like two inches lower. Mm-hmm. So she's my she's a toot. I'll okay. give her a toot. Um, I did actually like Nana's look. The, like a little bubble skirt. Oh, yeah. She had a little texture. It's a little different. I just haven't seen a bubble skirt in so long that I was like, oh. I just. People still do these. So I'll give cute. her a toot. I think it's a safe toot, but I'll give her a toot. Yeah. Um, Judy is probably my favorite with the bow. <sighs> All the bows were great. The bow deserves a toot on its own. The one bow that I would give the boot to was Ju. Not because it. she didn't look good in a dress. She had like the big pink bow on her chest. Yeah. I, I just don't think she fits this look. Ju is not a gown girl. She's not a gown girl. Good God, she looked girl. great, but yeah. she's not a gown girl energy. Yeah, I actually really like Sones bow too. Like it would like, like sh- with the tight dress. A lot. Um, I liked the color of Gian's dress. I did not like the style of the dress. Yeah. I liked. Did you like Yoram's dress? Yes. Okay. I was. I wasn't sure. Yoram. I mean, Yoram's my best dressed. Oh, a- she's apart ta- from Taeyeon. Yeah, obviously. I mean Taeyeon is the shoot, but who's your top two of the week? Yotam. Yotam. Mm-hmm. I just give me an ostrich feather, babe. Do it. It's gay ass shit. And also say this. <laughs> these are Silence. my. These are my nails. Say this. Here's the thing. 
Now I'm now I'm overemphasizing my nails. So here's so what, here's what the situation may be. Maybe. <laughs> it's wild to me that this is the interim, and they had them in gowns, beautiful gowns. Because they didn't have to perform. I think it's based on the performance. Their song was a ballad. No, but I'm sense. saying like, I understand that with a tr- with a trainee situation, they They'll might not have yeah. gowns, beautiful gowns. But like, let them have the chance, or give them gowns, beautiful gowns. I think my top two. T- mm, maybe it is so. And she, I kept looking at her. Like I just was so drawn to her the entire episode. I actually like Zoas too. Oh, Zoe looked great. It was like a short, but it had a train, and then the bow was on the back. Oh, the other reason I was going to say that Yadam was my top two of the week was because I've never seen her with bangs in the show so far. Yes. She's never had, yeah. like, or, like, she had bangs in the first episode, but she had her hair back. Mm-hmm. So, like, her hair down with bangs. I was like, wow, you look like a different person. I think I'm going to... Actually, I really liked Miru's dress, too. The blue, and it oh. was, like, the princess bell. You didn't like it? That's my That's, that's my your boot? boot? That's my boot. <sighs> Because I just think it's too... No. It didn't match the energy. No, you're wrong. Okay. You're wrong. It's supposed to be gowns, beautiful gowns, and that's a gown. It is a gown. You're right, it is a gown. Um, I think we are saying the same thing in that it's not a beautiful gown. I think we are saying the same thing with that energy. But I, I think don't you think like a, that it's not a beautiful gown. But I don't gown. think it's a boot gown. I don't think it's. I don't think any of the looks were bad. No, I just thought I was like. I wish that, it was. If you had to pick a boot, that would be. Your yeah, because like hers was like. Actually, you know who my. You know what? My second favorite, because Yodom is my favorite. My second favorite was Chanin's dress. Oh, that the like purple. Dress. The, the bridesmaid's dress. <laughs> yeah, it was very pretty. It's like eggplanty. I actually like Doa's look too. She. Oh she yeah. A little more gladiator slit. look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually did like Fai's look, too. R.I.P. to the Muppets that died for those arm mucklucks. My boot is Jihan. I think the color is so pretty on her. Mm-hmm. Did not like that dress at all. I didn't love the style. Such a weird style cut everything. But she looks great. Well, um, let's talk about the thing that I have never talked about that I say every week while we are watching the show. Oh, we bring this up every Every week. Every single time I go, oh my God, this is so weird. Blah, 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 blah. And I go, I have to talk about it this time. And And then I never do. Now you will. And this time I made a note about it because it is so weird to me as a person who is like pretty much boy group only. It is so weird to me seeing this many men in an audience. Yeah. Like just normal degular guys. Yes, not like, not like when you go to a Blackpink show in America and like half the audience is just gay men because the it's only twinks. group that like, yes, because it's the only K-pop that like gay, we know gays gay know are Blackpink. Black Pink, yeah, yeah. But then go to a Twice show and it's like United of Colors. Like it is. Yes. It's a lot of Asian guys, but it's a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. of like. A lot of a bigger mix yeah yeah of guys straight and gay honestly there's like wild there's like straight asian guys that are like fucking momo like well <laughs> well momo is well the can't teddy can't 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 yeah it's interesting yeah and just like regular guys who after work they go see the taping of queendom puzzle and they're like who's so fighting <laughs> yeah because even but even in like America, I mean, even, okay, let's take Korea out of it. Let's take K-pop out of it fully. Like Destiny's Child exists right now. You're it's going be- to see mostly women and, and gay, gay men. men. Yeah. You're not going to see just regular, degular guys. Do you, is that, is it the same way for just regular female entertainers? Huh? <laughs> for just like regular female entertainers, is it the same? I mean, I guess it depends on the genre, but like pop so taylor it's like boyfriends getting dragged there and then gay and then and then boyfriends getting dragged for being a man beyonce i feel like is a little more because it's uh intersectional <laughs> yep mm-hmm. for beyonce mm-hmm. yeah yeah adele well adele's in her residency honey yeah so that's oh. adults going to las vegas yes but I feel like when Adele was touring, it was like 
Adults. Adele is a moment. But Adele is not pop. Yeah. Adele does not make pop music. Wow. Rumor Adele has it caught dead. No, no, no. I'm saying Adele makes what is current adult, adult contemporary. contemporary. And it is a genre that basically doesn't exist anymore on top yeah. 40, except for, for Adele. Adele. And she does and you it think of that in a more modern way. Adele. So it is more pop influenced than I would say like the 90s adult contemporary mm-hmm. was. But like. What was the adult contemporary of the 90s? Babe, we had a whole Yeah, that was all country, though. You think that's still, that w- yeah. that still defined 90s? Celine? More? Celine. That energy. All those, like, diva downs. Cheryl? Crow? Cheryl was, like, not as country. She was a little bit more She was, like, country Jason. Yeah. I'm gonna go a little bit further back than the 90s, but, like, Linda Ronstadt? Adult contemporary. <laughs> So puzzle wow, team okay, one. Okay, so puzzle team. <laughs> all that just all that to say, puzzle team one in a fucking landslide, and it it kind of annoyed me, just a little, yeah. because I was like, oh. like I would say I wanted puzzle to win, and I liked that Queendom team was the underdog, and I had a feeling puzzle team was gonna win, yeah. but the fact that they won all five, and then the, okay, I'm gonna read the scores of the rounds to you. Round one, which we remember was Miss Girl against Miss, Miss Girl, Girl against Miss Girl. Rush Hour, Rush versus, Hour versus yes, Fast and the Furious versus two fifty three, one thirty three. <laughs> we didn't love either of those. Yeah, to be clear, but two fifty three that is the highest number of votes a song got on yeah. the show. Which makes me think it's really like they whoever start, goes first, whoever goes first, because everyone drove excited. a car in. Yeah. <laughs> Round two, belt, ballad, ballad. 208, lowest lowest high score versus 178. I just, I don't think that crowd wants to see That ballads. is the closest, though, between that the two crowd scores. wants Cunty Cunt show stopping numbers. They right. don't want ballads. Round three, which was uh, Wannabe, time wannabe time versus Time of Your Life. 217, 169. Wannabe just had more dynamic stage presence than time of your life which was just like singing and hanging out yeah i would say in the that's why i said it was i liked it more yeah because i think in the room i get that people like got the like reference to the the movie movie reference that they were referencing but but, it stopped there but that was like the end of it whereas like the okay we already litigated this round four bad blood versus the over water over water o- over water 245 155 that is a 90 that is, yeah. point difference and girls out of all of this you know what song is on my playlist over water slay also bad blood is a good song i like the song it is it's a good pop so- like it's a good song it's just, just so weird to- i don't know Round five, 223, 177. so overall puzzle team 1146 versus queendom's eight 12. I don't think it was this egregious. No. I felt it should have been I more I do even. agree that it was a little bit more stacked with just like people that are really excited about in the show. Like, you know, Nana, Yorum, both high keys. K and Bora. You know, like people I that have still- Yorum, like people have really stood out on the show yeah. that are really popular are stacked in puzzle. I know that it was, it ended up being about scoring. But for us, of the five rounds, we still, I think, preferred Puzzle three times over, over Queendoms, Queendoms twice. Yeah. It was Wannabe, it was Rush Hour, and Web, I would say. The other two, I feel like, oh, it, yeah. Because Overwater, I feel like, is a clear winner, and then I think we're, like, tied on one on the ballads. There are three new songs, RJ. Puzzling, puzzling, puzzling. Dun, 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 dun. That's a SF9 song called Puzzle. Puzzling. Solve the puzzle. I don't give a uh. I don't give a. I don't give a. IDGA. IDG. International Directors Guild Association. Absolutely. Slay. Interesting. They haven't gone on strike yet. Because they renewed their contract. They were they their they contract were, was up between the writer strike <gasps> and the oh. SAG contract renewal, and they did not stand with the writers. They renewed their contract. Oof. And then I do. 
I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Great. It's a Kepler song. Everybody loves when I read names, and I'm going to do my best. Because somebody was like, you pronounce Bora really well. Bora. You pronounce Bora really well. See, I just, just, I it. just messed it up. Fucking you pronounce ass. Bora really well. You pronounce Bora really well. Bora. Bora it's hey. very hard to mi- unlearn the, your mother tongue. Team A, which ends up being puzzling. K Miru Jiwan Rina Sujin Jui Cheren Suyun and Wuyun. Mm-hmm. In Team B. And Puzzle is like a a boppy song. Pa- like a poppy. Yeah. I don't give a Yuki Huisa Yeen Sanga uh Doa Fai Yoram Son. This is the harder song. Like hard is all in, of the all like five rappers and two singers. Yes. And then last team I do Bora Yani Bora Yani Eli Zoa Jiu Nana Jian Judy and Soyon. And this is bright. It's like Soyon. Bright, cute. It's about marriage. <laughs> it's about feeling like a the feeling that you get when you're like I want to marry this person. So, Taeyeon like introduces this whole concept in that like video and I just have to ask the question of why they decided to film this while she was getting her passport photo retaken because like it was so It was weird. so clear like just do it against this literally just do it against that white wall and we'll turn on the fluorescence. Nobody has just a uh there's not just a green screen they can't just like when unravel. They, did, they did the same thing remember when they were picking the songs and she was in like a black room and it was like not oh when they were on the roof yeah 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 because that's when we were like my queens <laughs> yes but i this one like x ex- i think also because she was just wearing like a collared button down and like had her hair slicked back i was like this is a passport photo she's at the dmv getting her license photo she's at the walgreens getting the passport photo yep. so she could bring it wild so she could get global entry she was on her way to do tsa pre-check Okay, here's the story going on in Puzzlin. Nothing. In, <laughs> I mean, truly, the, it's, it ends up being like, is K or Juan gonna be main gonna vocal. be main vocal, and then it's not resolved. And I'm assuming it's Juan because they would have to really go out of their way to create a narrative that they have not given to Kay on the show at all, which is like, she's a diva. They've not given her that narrative whatsoever in any way on the show. There's really only one person <gasps> they have given that narrative to on the Who? show. Who? Bora. Because she like fought for the high note. Mm-hmm. And it led to her downfall with, sorry, pick and drop, snap. Pick, drop, snap. Aye, 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 so anyway, aye. they don't really have a narrative. It's fine. Um, IDGA. Idga. Soen. Soen fell out of place. She volunteered to be like, I'll be the swing. Basically, because there's only seven roles. So I'll just like learn someone else. Which she was kind of foreshadowing. She's like, I don't already feel good about my chances of making it. So I'll do that. It's so sad. It's really sad because she's... It's Spoiler not that she's, alert. It's not that she's hard on herself. It's just... It's still a level of like I I'm accepting my fate a little bit. Yeah, she hasn't won a benefit, so even for her, she was like, I don't think I'm gonna make it. So last group, I do. I do. I do. Um, I do. Their narrative is Ellie's story. Ellie is going for the high note, or Bora. Well, first of all, Bora and everyone tries out for it because they're like, let's have everyone sing it. Yeah. And Bora wanted to be main vocal, and then Miss Producer was like, Jihan fucking ate that. Yeah. Because he was like, she's a little be lighter. Belted. She, yeah, it shouldn't be belted. It should be a little lighter. Which is fair. And I think Bora has a good idea. That's right. And yeah. But it's just, I can't help but every time I see Bora take constructive, constructive criticism, I see our peers in the musical theater just like, yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah, that's so fair. Like over, over, over accepting it, over accepting it. Like yeah, like I didn't, I didn't. That's, that's totally I was fine. thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I was actually thinking the and same I, thing that I did. That was like it's it's the wrong vibe for the song. Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, Jin should totally do it. 
<laughs> that is not a read. That is just no. an observation and you very ju- real. You, you, you are attempting to be the person who is like not the one who like is defensive mm-hmm. and you're like, I want to I want to prove that I really can take criticism well yeah. and then you overdo it. You overdo it because you're just like And it comes yeah. off equally as I wouldn't say it's as bad as like getting defensive. No. But I think getting defense it's the problem is is like getting defensive you can understand because like you're passionate it's hard to about take it. Criticism. Yeah. Yeah. Being overly accepting of criticism feels false. Yes. That's where it's like Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But on the other side too, and this is and again, I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep bringing this up. Uh-huh. Take these fucking extensions out. One and two. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so over I these need extensions. You to- if you cut your hair into a bob, and then you're gonna wear, she has now worn extensions more than she's worn her hair in a bob. And I'm like, then what was it for, girl? Cons- what was commit, it? Commit, baby. Commit to the bit. Commit. commit Rena to the bit. every week. Chopped. <laughs> she got it freshly cut for the yeah. gowns today for gowns um what's the other thing the other thing i wanted to say <laughs> is there was a big argument at the start of our recaps about who was rachel berry rachel berry is never going to give you i'm overly accepting criticism so that's why i don't think she's rachel berry but then you look over the other side and jihan was like oh, me <gasps> My gosh, it's no, so, like, there's so just, much pressure. There's so much pressure. You no, really I want me to do it? it? No, I thought she was very sweet, though. Yeah. And I do think it's sweet. like, it is like... <laughs> it's genuine. That's, it's that's very genuinely genuine. her reaction also, like, to it. I don't think she... I don't know. I don't know. She's also like really still very young, too. She, yeah, yeah. Like almost everyone is older than her. But so. also she... I don't think she's like the main... I don't know if there are like specific parts in Weekly, but I don't think she's the main vocal in Weekly. Mm. We'll find out. We'll, we'll find out. You know what? We'll watch us. it right after. You can tell us, but we'll watch a weekly video after this. So I, I understand her being like, I'm very hesitant to take a main vocal role because that's not something I'm like but super also, familiar with. Honestly, probably she also feels like, well, Bora is here. Yeah. So, and they've made such a big deal about and it. And they made such a big deal about it. So mm-hmm. she's like, oh, I don't. Because it's not like she said like, oh, she did say she was like, I think number one would be the one that I would want. But I think she meant sub vocal one. Mm. That's the way they were saying like. Number one, one number, number three, number blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I get a number two? No pickles with a Coke. That <sighs> was you. That was your go-to. And then you stopped but like back taking... back in college. Back in college. And, and then you... St- because what was the number two? No pickles with a Coke? RJ, this is at McDonald's, obviously. Double cheeseburger, no pickle with a Coke. No, uh, it was two cheeseburgers. Oh, it was the two cheeseburger Two cheeseburger meal. meal. But now the number two is the quarter pounder? Girl, I don't even know the numbers anymore. The, the numbers, numbers don't, don't matter at McDonald's anymore. The, They've no. given up. There's like six B A B C girl. Six A six B six C. And if has anyone ever actually ordered? Can I get the six C? No, no. That's not how it works. <laughs> Sorry, I just got so mad about McDonald's. Okay. Um, My order is the daily double. Jeopardy. Speaking of games, <gasps> the name of the group. Heads up, seven up. <laughs> Did you feel seen as a... As Did you a, play Heads Up 7 Up? Like, I, yeah, in like eighth grade. Because that was the oh, only time I was ever... America, in, yeah. It was not a thing in the Philippines. No. So you put your head down and you do this. And then you have to guess who touched you. Who touched your hand. Yeah. Or is there just a way of picking? Well, there's a few ways you can do it. Some, like I had a, a teacher who we would do it where like three people... I think it's three. I don't remember mm-hmm. exactly how many. But there's like three people who are it. And everybody puts their heads down. Mm-hmm. And then the three people walk around and they pick each pick a different person. It's like mafia, mm-hmm. kind of. And then, and then they go back to the front of the room. And then the people who are picked are supposed to guess who picked who are the them. Other pre- okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see. And if you're, if you get it, if you're right, then you get to swap places with them and you get to be you the be picker because you want to be but the then picker. why what what's this for so then so when i was really little you just got tapped and then you would find out but then later i think it was so that like the As other people would know who was tapped. who was tapped mm-hmm. for someone else okay especially if it was like a bigger class and there were like more than three people mm. anyway anyway that's the name of the here's group. how you cheat this <gasps> is for all the girls who are in second grade watching this hi girly turn it off <laughs> um you cheat by you put your head down on the desk but you put it like kind of you put your head back 
so you can see the shoes. Mm. And then you get the shoes, baby. Get the shoes, get the shoes Dominique. Baby. Get the shoes, baby. And that's the name of the group. L seven U plus P. L L's, L's up. L's up. Because the Hangul is L G. It's puzzle. Up. Okay, the thing is that it's doing too much. L's up. It's literally, it's puzzle backwards. Yeah, that's why they move the letters L's around. Up. Yeah, no, I. But yeah. why is there a plus? Why is there a seven? Why is the U plus P in a separate? Yeah, it's just like it's an it's backwards. It's swapping out a Z for a seven, but you're still supposed to pronounce it as a Z. It's a it. There's a plus sign. Why is it L's up? Like I get that that's you, technically I guess that's U two plus words. P. U U plus P. Yeah. I don't know. It's fine. I at first I thought it was L sevens up, and I was like, "What? <laughs> what? Just make it L's up." I mean, just, I get, li- just literally put puzzle like backwards. L L is she in French? Her. So like she, she her hers, mm-hmm. she her hers up. L L L L. Um. L. But also, it still doesn't up. The fine the reactions. You know what? Five fully being like, huh? You know what? It's better than Fantasy Boys. So who's in the group, baby? Who's in the group? I'm going to read it. <gasps> not in the order that they announced because we because paused? we paused and looked at every little ranking score mm-hmm. on this damn list mama can read korean so i don't know what to tell you girls i was telling at he was like who is that i'm like girl i was honestly the reason i was lost at first is because i didn't realize they were putting their the group na- name yeah. ahead of it and i was like what what's what? happening what's, what are these words why is k alone but okay but Roketu Punchy. <laughs> In seventh place, Yuki. Yeah. Yuki, I was really, I was surprised. Yuki was my biggest shock. Yes, for sure. Um, sixth place, Jian. Fifth place, Yeen. Yeen. Fourth place, K. Third, Huisa. Yeah. Second, Yoram. And, and one f- one is Nana. Nana. Because she got all the benefits. Yeah. Nana Yorum. Goddess of goddess, literal goddess of benefits. Z- goddess of benefits. Goddess of victory, I think is how they said it. Nana Yorum Huisa being the top three feels really right to me. I feel like that they are the great. three. I mean, listen, that's a great puzzle. Yeah. But I think those are the three that have really shined as like these are the stars of the show. It feels balanced. There's yeah, three two vo- rappers, three, three vocals, two rappers, two dancers. Yeah, it's a really balanced group. Yeah, it might not be the seven that I have in mind, but I would listen to anything they put out. L's up. <laughs> okay, girl. Okay, girl, do your show. Do your show. <laughs> in eighth place. Oh, we're we're oh, doing the doing whole thing, the girl. Ro- okay. Eighth place, Bora. Bora. Ninth place, G One. Tenth place, Judy. Hello. Which actually that that actually shocks me. Judy, so I guess high? I just didn't. Yeah, I didn't know the extent of how popular Judy was going to be. So I'm glad that like whether it's like you know people like her. Like who's previously? the other girl in Rocket Punch? Suyun. Let me tell you, ten, eleven, and twelve. <gasps> Yung Suyun. Judy. Su-yun. Eleven is Yanni. Twelve is Suyun. So yeah, maybe Rocket Punch, the Rocketeers. 13 is Uyan. I thought that one was surprising. That was surprising. Uyan is from... Nana. Uwa. Uwa. That's right. 14 is Zoa. This would be in the finals now. Oh, finals. top 14 is finals. Yeah. yeah. So 15, Rina. 16, Jiu. 17, Doa. 18, Miru. 19, Ellie. 25, 21, Sujin. Yeah. So that's it. That's who made it. And then these are the eliminated the queens. Twenty two was Sangha. That r- shocked me actually. I was surprised. Surpri- surprised. I was surprised. Kill surprise. Kill surprise. I was surprised. So between so it was between Doha Phi, Sangha, and Sol, and Phi was not gonna have enough votes. I thought so too. 
and she was and shot. she's close i mean she's still close yeah but, yeah. but she literally was like Ooh. yeah because we said i think it's doa and fi fi and then it was the, the opposite of two. those there was a moment after they said sanga that i we both were like oh no i think it's son yeah 23 was son i oh you think you think that has something to do with it you think it doesn't do i think it's the first thing no but do i think that uh, there is like a very specific look look that especially female idols are supposed to have i know but that's the that's it's the, such a bummer it's such a bummer because she she's so good she's so good she's gorgeous mm-hmm. and like she really owns up to the fact that like i'm fucking taller it's also like, so I'm crazy fucking, to me like because we are talking about son as if she's probably a size three size four i said size eight that like truly that might be it but like i don't know i really am really bad at yeah yeah sizes so i don't know but i mean i mean comparatively obviously to everybody else on the show sure it's just crazy that this is like that that's the conversation the world we live in yeah Ugh. number 24 is soyon i expected that i was scared that she was going to be safe because there were a lot of triple s stands in the audience yes there were so that's so why i was like oh i think she might squeak but you in. her her spread from g is eight it's huge it's yeah so i do think people notice that like to green like really yeah, it's like yeah huge gap 25 is Jewy. <laughs> i am really hoping that this experience at least opened her eyes to be like it's not over yet i can still do stuff yeah i think she needs to really like step into her own power like really figure out what is it that people love about me and really to quote frozen Two. Show, show yourself. yourself okay say that i, I can't that's a different song. <laughs> i don't think this was the right step for her career i get that it was could have been an option mm-hmm. but i just just go do solos yeah if you've already done your you know what i mean if you've already done the group yeah because here's the thing i like don't be defeated by this is what i mean yes there's uh, when we watch the weekly idol for zero base one one of the co-hosts oh, yeah. miju she is a member she was a member of lovelies and then like started doing variety shows and then like fully became like america like the korea's new favorite like female oh host. cute like she's won so many awards now because oh. of like how funny she is oh and i'm almost like i want Julie to do this yeah yeah just lean in just lean in but i think that's the thing she, i think but she also, was really, i mean i get it if you like are like i want to sing yeah i get that but that's the thing me you just released a single too oh, so like well i then. think there's i think it's possible yeah i think she needs representation girl if you're driving yourself around if you're driving yourself to the wrong studio on day one girl and then that leaves chayden at 26 okay which is this is crazy yeah bora and g1 are, are eight, eight and nine and, nine. and, and she is, is 26 and i told adam if you told me that charon was in the show i would not have believed you because they never showed her they didn't show her at they all they never included her in a story but i wouldn't say like g1 got a ton of no anything either no so that disparity is crazy to me what's going on in the cherry bullet community so I wonder if there's a little bit of like favoritism, maybe in K-pop. No, uh, I refuse to believe. God, have you heard of? Oh no, we don't say that word here. And Ani, should we do? A new Who person? are you worried about? 
Who was I worried about? Don't just list the last seven, but who are you worried about? Ellie. I was really worried about Ellie. I... And she looked like she was like, I she was like me. prepared to it's go. It's going to be, it's going to be me. I was really, I think that she was scared. I was scared for, I was scared for Chewie. I actually thought that she would probably What did you think in. about the song, by the way? Rise up. That's the theme song. That's no, wait, what plays I, the I credits. Understand, every yes. episode. That's the credits. I've never listened to the full thing. It's cute. It's fine. They, I haven't seen a good survival show ballad. Well, we know how I feel, but that's fine. Because I didn't like not, not... Not Alone was fine. It's not like I didn't like it. I thought it was fine. I... I... I think it's the best one. I think it's the best of the, the three of the seen. shows we've seen. <laughs> Definitely. I hated the Fantasy Boys. Oh, I Because it was I can't so even, long and so unmemorable. Yeah. I didn't prepare, but I think I can... The people in the seven that I'll keep... How about let's challenge us, ourselves that? You can keep... Two. Two? Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, that's bud. You're bud. <laughs> two? Two. Go, you're bud. Three. Fine. So three. Three. Fine. Three. Oh! Three. 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 <laughs> <laughs> three? Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Four? No, three. Four. Sigina. It's seven to Sigina fourteen. Four. Seven Sigina to fourteen. Four. That's the ratio. Fine. So three. So three. <sighs> Bitch. Okay, my nails are so long. I'm growing them out for Barbie. Okay. Three. Four. Got three. <sighs> K. Oh God. I already hate this. I already hate it. K. Huisaw. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Fuck, Yoram. Oh, <gasps> I know. Nana caught dead. Right now, I am feeling more Huisaw mm-hmm. than Nana. Because... Is, to me, every time I see her, it's so exciting. She's genuinely happy to do the show, which is insane yeah. for any, any one of these girls to actually... Commit the woman. Exi- <laughs> yeah, I'd be excited to do this. So I'll pick Huisa for now. Um, so my four um, outside of the group is Dohua. Mm-hmm. Ellie. Oh, Okay. You were gonna be so upset if Ellie got. I re- off. yeah. You yeah. were like, no, she this she cannot can't. Happen. Yeah, Judy. Mm-hmm. You know, what? I'll stick with Phi. I'll still stick with Phi because I I am using the same thinking that I had for Jay, mm-hmm. which was I really think Phi um, get a lot out of being in this group. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna do two. <gasps> yeah. Nana Yadam. <laughs> Those are my two. And I'm going to pick five girls who are not in the top seven. Nana Yadam. Bora. Hmm. Lucky you. Bora, Zoa, Rina, hmm. Jiu, Doa. Period. 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 I was like, I'm going to make it so balanced. It's not balanced at all. Jiu is the closest thing to a rapper that you picked. There's no rappers, There's no RJ. Rappers I don't know what to pick. tell you. <laughs> Well, we really put ourselves in a pickle. A little pickle. So, allegedly, there is a special episode next week, and then the semifinal the week after, and then the final the week after that. Girl. We are going to watch the special episode, but if we deem that it We're is not- We're going to start watching the special episode. <laughs> and if we and if deem- it's like if it's season like, 13, RuPaul's Drag Race- This is how we filmed- This is our special COVID episode. I'm turning it off, okay? Yeah. So, this better be actually special for me to talk about it. To get on Al Gore's internet and talk about it. If anything, if it's special enough that we could talk about it, but not enough for it to be its own episode, we'll add it on the semifinal episode. Sure. But you know what? Wow, we, we have come a long way from Boys Planet where we did an entire video on about TikToks. TikToks, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know what? A week off sounds great because next week's my birthday. It I'm is. turning 28, so I'm really excited. Actually, I'm turning 24. I'm turning 
uh, me and Zhang Hao have are turning 24 this year. You're so. both Leos. Mm-hmm. Zhang Hao's older than you. Mm-hmm. Interpol, Interpol, International Police. I'm Interpol. You got to do a live on your birthday. The girlies went alive. And only if you buy me a cake that you light up and then play like a, a song with the concept and then and then I yeah and then wow you, how did I get work out of this and then you and Friedrich have to buy me each gifts and I have to guess who gave me who what oh okay Membo hmm <laughs> we're a trio yeah got it I like that let's do that <laughs> I just said I would love a week off and then I'm like actually let's do it live yeah, it'll be fun. A 30-minute live. 30 minutes. There'll be a timer on the screen. I already know where I'm getting your cake Because we're getting dim sum. Interpol! <laughs> Interpol! International Police! Okay, bye. Bye.